And welcome back everybody to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine! In the last episode, we were continuing our cleanup of Isle Delfino of all of its collectibles. <laughs> and we did Gelato Beach last episode. We collected all 30 blue coins in Gelato Beach. In today's episode, we have one more world we need to clean up before we can advance with the story some more. And that's Peanut Park. Now, Peanut Park has got... Like, this one's a little bit more easier than Gelato Beach. Gelato Beach was kind of really bad when it comes to, you know, hopping between episodes and everything. In Peanut Park, you only have to have two episodes to get every coin. And that's episode two and episode six. That's it. So, without further ado, let's jump into Peanut Park and get those coins. Yeah, like I said before, there's Peanut Park's kind of straightforward with its, its blue coins. There's a couple blue coins in Episode 2, The Beach Cannon Secret. And it's mostly like as much as you think it is. It's self-contained in the beach portion and then the, the, the fair portion, in a way. So, a lot of these blue coins, you probably see these overturned baskets. Like, just sitting there. The only way we can destroy these overturned baskets is using a, a guided missile in order to pretty much clean up this area work. But before we get into the baskets here, we're going to go and spray this section right here because there's a blue shine sprite right there where I'm shooting. And the frame rate is not being very happy with me right now. <laughs> but I'm bound and determined to get it revealed. <laughs> There's a blue shine sprite symbol right there to spray on the ground, and it, it reveals a blue coin. I think there's another one right here. Yeah, there's another one right here. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this. You can do this after you cleared out this episode to make it so you're not bullied with a lot of nonsense. <laughs> I don't know why I was so bound and determined to do it now. But we want to use these guided missiles to break open these overturned baskets. I don't know why Mario can't just kick it over. He has to use a missile to break it open. But, yeah, there's uh, there's our first one. There are a couple of these in this level. So we're going to use this guided missile to break open this one. And get this blue coin. And yet we're going to do, do the same using the guided missile to kind of lead us all the way over here to this one. There we go, got that one. And yet again, there's another one. I'd just be like DJ Cali, another one. I <laughs> come over here and try to hit. The thing is, though, these guys outrun you. So you kind of want to use advanced movement techniques in order to get away from these guys if you can, if you can help it as much as you can. Uh, try to get their attention as much as you can. And yeah, there's a gold. There's a gold cannon right there. It has a lot of coins there. That would have made my hundred coins sweep a little bit easier. But that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that guy's attention and slide all the way over to this one. And hopefully get to it in time. Come over here and break that open, buddy. There you go, Bullet Bill. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna get that blue coin and uh, thank you for it. And gotta get another one because there's a bunch at the very far end of the beach. So you gotta guide this missile very, very far. And I, I don't like playing Crash Bandicoot where I'm going against the camera. I don't like doing it right now, but I'm gonna have to. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Pianta. But I'm trying to outrun this, you know, stupid homing bit missile. <laughs> hot, hot! <laughs> I, lo I love when Mario gets burned. It's uh, like it. That is, like, the funniest, like, voice clip of Charles Martinet that I, I think is the funniest one is where, in Sunshine, where he, it, where he, Mario gets burned. And he goes, either goes, Mama! hoo ha hoo ha hoo Or, Hi! Hot, hot! <laughs> I don't know why I always thought those were funny clips. I just love that. It, it always puts a crack on my face. I know Mario's getting hurt, but... The voice direction with Mario in this game in particular always makes me... puts a chuckle on my face. This is probably the hardest one to get, because as you can see, that one just curved right into it. But yeah, there's a bunch of these blue coins that are just on the beach on these overturned turned, uh, baskets. And that's really the hardest part about this level with the blue coins, is trying to get those. And trying to get Monty Mole 
Alolan Monty Mole over here trying to get him to spit out a homing missile. Uh, come on. I want to play Sonic Generations where it looks like a homing shot. Because I need that homing shot to break open this thing. <laughs> so there we go. We got all the blue coins in the un on the uh, in the baskets. So, but we're not done with the beach yet. No, sorry, we're not done with the beach yet at all. I'm having to kind of fast forward this section because I had a heck of a time trying to find a fruit for Yoshi. Yeah, I had such a heck of a time trying to find the fruit for Yoshi. He wants a, I think it was, he wants a pineapple. And I couldn't, and the only way you can get fruit in this level is by spraying the ground and just praying that it gives you a fruit. So, yeah, it's kind of really difficult. I don't like this. I really, and finally, I just got tired of Monty Mole over here, so I just got, I just got rid of him. I just said, dude, just go away, please. Just stop shooting me. <laughs> I'm done with you. I don't need you anymore. I'm trying to feed Yoshi. I'm trying to help my buddy. Please, just leave me in peace. <laughs> okay, so I finally found a pineapple and gave it to Yoshi. So, there is Blue Butterfly right here to get a blue coin. And that's, I think there's another batch of butterflies right here. I think, yeah, there's a green one right here. So we can go ahead and lick that one up for an extra life. And I think that's all that Yoshi's needed for this portion, at least. We're going to need Yoshi in this level. No, oh, no, there's another blue coin right there. I, I, I thought that there was two blue butterflies flying around here. Yeah, there's two blue butterflies on this beach here. That's all you need Yoshi for in order to get the blue coins. For this section, at least. We're going to need Yoshi for the amusement portion. But that's all the blue coins in episode 2. So the rest of them can be found in episode 6. Yoshi Go, go Round. For this one, it's all in the amusement park. So we're done with beach beach going. So we're done with the beach. I know it's like a small portion of the level, but still a lot of shines revolved around it. <laughs> Funny as it really is, there's a bunch of shines that were revolving around the beach portion of Peanut Park, and you didn't really actually go inside the park. So right off the bat, we got another we got another bird to pick. We got another bone to pick with a bird. Yeah, there's a there's a bird uh, blue coin around here. And this one's kind of a pain in the rear end. I don't like this one. <laughs> so I'm looking for the blue bird. He's gonna be on that canopy right there. And there he is. And I've tried to get him, and he flies around in such a big, wide arch here. I'm just sitting here waiting for him. I'm just like, dude, can you please stop flying in that general direction? I need to shoot you with water. Get rid of this stupid Electro Koopa. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the bird to come back around so I can spray him with water. <laughs> it's always such a cut. You have to hit him multiple times in order to get him. You just can't be just one. No, it has to be multiple. And eventually, I was like, where did he go? Where did he go? And then I realized, oh, he's coming back around again. There he is. <laughs> and finally, I finally caught him. Got my blue coin from the dastardly blue bird. So, there we go. Okay, so we got that one out of the way. And the next blue coin is in these seashells on this uh, seashell ride area here. If you kind of open up all the seashells here, you'll notice there's one that has a blue coin. So you just grow in and grab it. Be sure to grab it quickly because those things fall down and they will hurt you if they fall down on you. The next blue coin is in this little rafter underneath the stairwell. And honestly, I made, I, I was just, I'm just not, I'm just going to come out and say it. I was stubborn with this one. I tried to wall jump. I tried to do everything. And I spent literally like five minutes trying to get that thing, jumping out and doing cover nozzle. It, just get the rocket nozzle. Just save your, <laughs> save your, just get the rocket nozzle. Don't do what I did. Please don't do what I did. There's another graffiti M right there at the archway. Plain as day, just clean that up and get another blue coin out of the deal. But there's also an Electro Coop up there, and I don't want to deal with him because those enemies are actually just quite annoying, to be perfectly honest. Just go ahead and just get him out of the way and don't have to deal with him. But there is yet another twofer uh, blue coin uh, spot here. So we're going to go ahead and clean that little guy up, the onion guy or whatever plant guy that is. I don't know if that's a Pianta 
or not. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up and come all the way over here where this archway is over here. I barely get this in time because it's starting to fade there. <laughs> but we're gonna do the same thing. Clean this wall here and go back to the Pianta guy again. He's gonna spit it out right in his mouth there. I'm just gonna quickly try to get there and I should not have got... I, I, you'll see it. I fumble so much in this section. I grab a tree by accident. I don't mean to do it. I should not have gotten this blue coin. And I didn't. <laughs> I just said, nah, I'm not gonna try it again. <laughs> I, I made the same thing that I almost got it there for a second there. And I realized, I was like, no, I didn't. I, I remember I didn't get that one. But no, we're gonna go ahead and wash this wall from a little bit safer distance so that way I can get a little bit of a head start on it. And not try to grab a tree this time. <laughs> it's a little bit faster if you just use the sliding maneuver and not try to hover, because hovering's, as much as it is, hovering's kind of slow. So, you kind of want to just book it over here to get that blue coin. I should honestly shouldn't have gotten it there, but I'm going to take that take that W there for a second there. Okay, so we're going to come up here and yet another blue bird. Yeah, there's another blue bird on top of this canopy right here where the, where the pineapple's at. And we're just going to sit here and wait for the bird, blue bird to come back again. It's always these dang blue birds, dude. Come on. Come back. Those silly flight plant patterns. Why do you guys got to fly around? Why can't you just stay, sit still, and let me shoot you? I got a couple hits in on the, that guy. I don't, I, like, I got a few hits on him. I'm, he's probably only got one hit left. If he come back around again. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you, Bluebird. Probably a Blue Jay or something like that. There we go. Got a blue coin. Grab that one. There we go. I think that's the last of the birds. I don't think we have to get a birds left in this level. Oh, a nice camera right there. <laughs> but we're going to come up this way because there's a couple blue coins up this way. There's a yellow, yellow spot right there. I'm going to go ahead. And this is another twofer, by the way. So we do that one and it's going to kind of pop out just a little bit. Yeah, just down there. It's not that far. From where we were. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one. It's going up that's gonna be a little bit of a problem because we're gonna have to do advanced techniques to kind of do shortcuts and cut off and uh, like cut off our shortcuts and whatnot. I'm gonna go do backflips and everything like that. Try to get, you know, save a little bit of time going up the ramp here. I'm just gonna go back up here, do another backflip. Get this blue coin. But we're not done yet. Nope, we got another twofer here in a second. We're gonna go up on top of this section here, and we're gonna hitch a ride on the Ferris wheel. And try to get on top of the one of the carriages of the fi Ferris wheel here, and we're just gonna ride the Ferris wheel up because we got another two for rub here. Yep, we got a circle. We're gonna watch the circle. Where is it gonna pop out? It's gonna pop out on the other side of the Ferris wheel, so it's not gonna not that far. You should get this one with relative ease. <laughs> I mean, they give you. They have a short timer on there, but so you got to be quick about it, but I wouldn't take your time with it Again, we're gonna spray that one. I'm just gonna go back to where we were and get that blue coin up there That ain't too bad They're sitting at 111 blue coins. We got a lot <laughs> We did a lot of work on this uh, mop-up couple of series here So we got a lot of done. That's like at least um well, by the end of this, it's gonna be a lot. But right over here, right on, right off into the distance, there, there's a blue coin right there. And finally, we got a couple up here. We're gonna go up this way and kind of climb our way all the way to the top where the shine sprite was with the red coin shine. And there's a blue coin just, you know, just chilling out there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And shortly after that, I miss my, <laughs> I miss it. I shouldn't have like go of hover. I should have just kept going with it. But yeah, you saw there was a blue coin on top of that uh, that little uh, stand there, and I've got to deal with the pirate ships again. <laughs> I said, nah, I don't want to do that to the pirate ships. The pirate ships always give me issues. <laughs> They're going to go back and do it the other other way, because, well, that other way was kind of easier. I just was in the middle of cutscene, and I let go hover, and it didn't work out as well as I thought. Kind of messed up there a little bit and trying to get back up there. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna 
and position myself there. And we're gonna go and kind of fly our way up there and try to be very careful to land on the spot so I could jump again. So, so watch out for the pirate ships so I can get this blue coin right here. There we go. All right, so there is another blue coin at the top of that little cage in the distance there. There's one inside, but there's one on the top. And we're going to go get the one inside the cage there. We're going to go ahead and bust that open. And get this blue coin right here that was just, you know, chilling inside the cage. But there's one at the very top of this cage. And honest to gosh, like the easier, easiest way I can really suggest is to wait until the pirate ships... Yeah, you see it right there at the top. Wait until the pirate ships start to do a full revolution. As soon as they do a revolution, you want to jump on there. And kind of be careful, because if you get a sliding maneuver, it's kind of all over there. I kind of screwed up the, that first one. But what you want to do is you want to jump on the pirate ship when it does its revolution. As soon as you do the, uh, as, as soon as you do that, quickly do a backflip off of it. And as soon as you do that, you should have enough height to reach it. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. A lot of directions to do, so we're just gonna wait until this pirate ship does its full revolution again. Just be patient. We only got five more blue coins left, and then we can get back to fun stuff like you know, doing actual levels and whatnot. And jump up here, do a backflip, and then have enough height to get up to this one. There we go. That's how you get that. You should. That's how you get that one. That one's kind of a toughie. So we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna see this family of enemies right here, or this stack right here. Well, we're gonna disturb the peace, and we're gonna knock over his stack here. <laughs> we're gonna knock over his his stack of uh, his little buddies here. And as soon as we kill the big one, they pop up a blue coin. So, yeah, we're gonna disturb a family of uh, enemies there. <laughs> If we come down here and jump up, jump at the beach section here, there is a graffiti M hiding underneath this little ramp right here, and we get a blue coin out of that. Now, we're going to go back up here, and in the very back where the Ferris wheel uh, shine was, where we had to do that, the, the grates there, you can see there's a, a graffiti M at the very top right there. We're going to go ahead and wash that up and get a blue coin. And with that, we only have one more blue coin left in Pina Village or Pina, Pina Park. If I can get the name right, the Heracel Pina Park. As soon as we, there's only one more blue coin left, and that where it is going to require Yoshi's assistance. <laughs> yeah, we have one blue coin left to get. Yoshi's used for a grand total of three blue coins in this whole mop up. That's 10% of blue coins. Come on, Yoshi, step up your game, buddy. I'm just joking. I love you, Yoshi. You're my favorite. You're my favorite Nintendo character. <laughs> I love Yoshi so much. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get Yoshi's fruit. He wants bananas. We're gonna go ahead and grab these bananas and jump up here. And I, this is kind of where I was still kind of like iffy on whether or not I can go in the water with the fruit. I don't know why. I just did Gelato Beach. I just did that. I was like, oh no, I screwed it up. Uh, but I, for some reason, I don't know why it didn't click with me right after that. I literally recorded these episodes one after another when I recorded these episodes. So I don't know why it didn't jog on me. It's like, just swim with the, with the fruit, dude. Why? It was late at night. I was tired. <laughs> and plus, I'm getting to the point where I can't remember things as much as I used to anymore. So that's why I forgot. <laughs> so don't blame me. I'm sorry. I'm just, it just, I was just forgetful. Well, I mean, you can blame me. I just, I was just, I just plain forgetful about that fact. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead here and feed Yoshi. We need Yoshi for one thing. <laughs> it's at the very edge of the park. And come over here. I love the little bongo music that plays whenever uh, to the beat of the music whenever you ride in Yoshi. I forgot to mention that. I just really love that. It, it kind of reminds me of like how how it was in like, Super Mario World and stuff like that whenever I get, ride Yoshi. There are some butterflies right here, but namely there is a blue butterfly in this corner. Once you eat that with Yoshi's tongue, 
that's our last blue coin. So with that, we have gotten every single blue coin in all four worlds that we need blue coins. <laughs> so we got, we're officially back up to everything that we need. <laughs> I love whenever he gets pushed out of a level. But with that, we've done it, guys. We finished our cleanup. We have gotten all the blue coins and all the shine sprites and all the worlds we have access to at the moment. So, we can now finally move forward with the plot of the game. We can actually go to the next world. And actually, before we end this episode here... Uh, let's take a look at our totals real quick just to make sure we got everything so Bianco Hills we got 30 co blue coins there and all the shine sprites Pico Harbor we got 30 coins there and all the shine sprites Gelato Beach we got 30 coins and all the shine sprites and Pina Park we got all the shine sprites and 30 blue coins so we're all good uh, there are some stuff in Isle Delfino but I'm going to be doing that much later so don't worry about it right now. All right, so now we got, I can show you guys how to get access to the next world. So let's go ahead and activate Yoshi because you're gonna need Yoshi in order to access this world. The world in question is on top of the roof roof up here. You probably see a, a giant thing that has a pineapple on the top of there. Yoshi's the only thing that can eat that pineapple. So, we're gonna go over there with Yoshi, our brand new friend Yoshi. Actually, he's been our friend for quite a while. And once we do that, and we lick that up, we have access to World 5. That's pretty much that. So, all you have to do is just jump into this this portal here on the in this pipe, and then you have access to the next world, which is called Serena Beach. And I don't know why the camera's fo focusing in on that. <laughs> it, it always does that. But with that, I think we're going to call it here for this episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to be starting World 5, Serena Beach. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.